not artificial, spontaneous autoimmune disease like the Bacchus, right? Then there are, as you know, both genetic factors and evidence factors they involved in autoimmune disease. In our minds, maybe the point of mutation DQ30, which results in the enhanced tasty activation, is one example of the genetic factors. Then we ask the question if any environmental factor, such as human tissue leukemia virus infection, may affect the arthritis. For this, we utilize the HTLVM PX transgenic virus, which is a model mouse of HTLVM infection. So, this introduction interesting the enhanced arthritis because, as you know, PX gene activates any capability. So, this data suggests that may, both SASVI and NKP may be involved in autoimmune disease or inflammation. Then, that we, further, we wish to further know the immunological mechanism, how such arthritis to develop in a mutant device, utilizing a variety of knockout. We know that for the arthritis development, lymphocyte is absolutely required. However, neither B cells nor CD8 poison T cells are required. <coughs> However, CD4 T cells are required. So this is a CD4 T cell dependent arthritis. However, interesting finding that this mutation is not required in CD4 T cell. Rather, this F769 mutation is required in non immune cell. That means, when I act or I was family after the non immune cell, for example, fibroblasts expressing such a kind of mutant GB1 30, resulting in the enhanced S3 activation leading to the enhanced IL7 product. Thus produced IL-7, atom T cell, and induced homeostasis expansion of CD4 T cell. This IL-7 dependent CD4 T cell expansion is critical for our arthritis <laughs> in this mutant. So this data clearly shows that interaction between immune system and non-immune cell plays a critical role in certain autoimmune disease. Then the, how such a kind of thing happens? The first reason we ask the question, what is the role of CD4 T cells? Because CD4 T cells are required. Without CD4 T cells, no development outside. Maybe anti decognition by CD4 T cells may be important. However, we did not find any deviation of TCR data usage in CD4 T cells in this mouse, so far we examine, suggesting the no involvement of TCR recognition. Then we further confirm this issue utilizing the TCR transgenic mice. As I mentioned, F759 down to no problem. Otherwise, never developed because new side, no new side. Then we cross with TCR transgenic mice. So by this way, we can easily induce introduce the certain very clonal TCR containing T cell. Then what happens? Actually, the either P25 transgenic mice <coughs> derived T cell or OT2 transgenic mice derived T cell successfully induce arthritis in F759 mouse. Clearly indicating that anti recognition <coughs> by CD4 T cell is not required. Then, how about the law? Maybe the source, just a source of cycles. Maybe the T cell is not very much active. Anyway, in F7 mice, memory CD4 T cells increase, as well as THIR7 T was also increased as A. As already known, the TH17 critically involved in autoimmune disease, and also the reports IL6 is critically involved in the, in the induction TH17. So it is easily expected that IL6 is involved in autoimmune disease because IL6 is required for TH17 development. So the anyways, we confirm that our arthritis is actually dependent on IL17, 
Yet answer is yes, closer to either 70 and not out mass, then significant decrease. And uh, in contrary, the overexpression of IR70A in F759 miles uh, significantly accelerate or enhance our flight. So, it is, our flight is, is IR17A dependent disease. Then the first is a critical downstream type of IR17, because IR6 is absent, considered to be absent. And then the, in order to answer this, we overexpress IL-7A <coughs> in view, not in view. Then we examine what kind of size and what kind of genes expect. Of course, many genes expect. But interesting is, IL-6 is induced by IL-7A in both wild type as well as F-759 mouse. However, the absolute number of IL-6 induced in this mutant mice is very higher than compared to the wild type mice. Anyway, IL-17 is induced, induced IL-6. So, furthermore, in the finding we made it, this IL-17 17 induced IL-6 production is further enhanced by the presence of IL-6 itself, at least in mouse embryo fiber. This was also observed in the F759 mouse derived embryo fiber. Again, the absolute, absolute amount of IL-6 induced by the combination of IL-6 IL-7 TNA was very much higher compared with the control. And furthermore, in the, uh, furthermore we confirmed that because IL-17 induced activation of N kappa B, IL-6 induced such activation. So then the question we ask is that whether the N kappa B or such are involved. Answer is yes. For this, we utilize a male cell derived from neural knockout mouse. And then, as shown here, that in this case, no induction of IL-6 was observed in any combination. And furthermore, IL-17, uh, furthermore, the enhancing effect of IL-6 on IL-17 induced IL-6 production was suppressed in male cells, where the STAS3 was not done utilizing RNA interference. So the data clearly indicates that such kind of synergic effect of IL-6 production by IL-6 plus IL-17 was dependent on both n kappa b and STAS3. So IL-6 not only acts on the upstream of TH17, but also IL-6 is a downstream target of IL-17 in itself, and it is finding that in the addition of IL-6, IL-17A induced IL-6 production was very much enhanced. Such enhancement was dependent on n kappa b and star 3. So, it is easily imagined that once IL-6 is produced, then IL-6 act on T, then induce TH17, resulting in the enhanced IL-17 production. So, we think that there is an IL-6 amplification group, that is an IL-6 amplifier, okay? Once this is triggered by any event, then this is initiated, no stop. So, if then the, the question we ask is, this IL-6 amplifier, have any critical role in autoimmune disease or 